Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For Saturday, the last day of the fourth week of Apostles' Tide. In Apostles' Tide, please remember that we are the category of Apostles' Tide. We are following the Apostles through the Gospel of Mark this year and seeing what they see. And what they have seen so far is the healing of demonics, the raising of dead of little children, giving sight to the blind, and they themselves being sent out two by two with this very important message of the gospel that the Messiah has come, has come to redeem his people. That, of course, was responded last week with the uh, narrative of the beheading of St. John the Baptist. Yes, these apostles walk into danger every day. But this coming Sunday's reading is the, the narrative of the feeding of the 5,000 and the apostles' part in that feeding. This coming Sunday, tomorrow, we will have a feeding of sorts. No, we'll have the best of feedings. But we will have Holy Communion. Know that you are invited to come and receive your Lord's body and blood for the forgiveness of your sins, for the strength for you, for not only today, but to bring you to life everlasting. 9 a.m., divine service, the second setting. We will sing God's praises. We will receive his gifts. You are welcome to come. But for now, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm number 54. O oh God, save me by your name and vindicate me by your might. O oh God, hear my prayer, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. They do not set God before themselves. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. He will return the evil to my enemies in your faithfulness put an end to them. The free will offering I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from every trouble and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the 
forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, you granted your prophets strength to resist the temptations of the devil and courage to proclaim repentance. Give us pure hearts and minds to follow your Son faithfully, even into suffering and death. To the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, who have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things, that your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Remember tomorrow, Sunday morning, 9 a.m., the doors will be open. We will have divine service. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, given for the forgiveness of our sins. You are welcome. You have a good night.